Hello, and welcome once again to the Dental Marketing Mastery Series. This podcast is brought to you by dentalwebcontent.com and New Patients Incorporated. I'm Howie Horrocks, the founder of New Patients Incorporated. Along with me once again is my friend and partner and the president of New Patients Incorporated, Mark Dilatush. Hello, once again. We have a podcast for you today, another one. Along with me is my good buddy, Mark Dilatush. How are you doing, Mark? Hello, Howie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I, we were at, I was at the ADMC meeting last week, just before the ADA meeting. And um, so the ADMC meeting is this group of about 150 um, management consultants, most of them. And um, they were all, not all, but a lot of them, many of them referred to our podcasts. They're, at, they're using these uh, podcasts to help them answer questions while they're in their client offices, which I thought was kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, I mean, we originally built them for dentists, but management consultants are using them too. So it's a multi-use application. It is. We are. Yes, that's. that's true. <laughs> well, today I think we've uh, decided we were we were going to talk about online reputation, or maybe subtitled "Why We All Hate Yelp." Maybe not. Well, it could be. Yeah, why we all hate Yelp. Um, yeah, I, 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 we get this question. Uh, it's rare that we have a conversation with a dentist that um, online reviews and their online reputation doesn't come up in, in, in a conversation about an overall marketing strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the types of questions we, you know, those are the types of conversations we have overall marketing um and within that framework um this topic almost always comes up so yeah let's do a podcast about it it's um everybody's or at least everybody should be aware um that uh, almost no matter where you go and what you do can be reviewed i flew from denver airport to philadelphia airport um, at the end of last week, and within 24 hours, I had an email asking me to leave a review for an airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, whatever. So, um, so this goes, you know, restaurants and airlines and, in this case, airports. Um, your online reputation matters. Um, it matters more now than it did a year ago um it will matter more a year from now than it does right now so um and it's 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 very difficult to control there's there's really two control triggers to managing your online reputation one of them is um controlling the dental team which is always a source of laughter somewhere between 1 and 100 it depends <laughs> some <laughs> some dentists have control of their teams and some dentists just don't right i mean it's just some, just, some are controlled by their teams that's right and some are controlled by their teams right so so that's why there's a control point there that needs attention and then there's another one um which is how do we control the flow of good, good reviews and minimize the flow of potential bad reviews, right? I think we've all, um, when, when we go online and we look at, let's say, a restaurant or a hotel, I think we're all... Um, we all go to the reviews and we look. And we, you know, even when I go on to Bass Pro and I buy a new reel and I see, you know, 71 reviews, um, you know, I want to see the one idiot that said it wasn't a great reel, right? I want to see what they said, right? Yeah. So, so uh, I think we all do that and, and, and make no mistake, you know, potential new dental patients obviously do that. And Howie and I are going to be the ones to say, especially the dental moms in the top half of the dental market, which is where what we've been going after for 27 years. So we have a really good 
idea of how they function. The, the, the women in the top half of the dental market are uh, the women who would go to WebMD. They're the women who do boatloads of healthcare research before making their decisions. A mom who gets a postcard in the mail with an $18 new patient exam and x-ray is not going to go look at your reviews. But a mom who's interested in more uh, for her family than a deal absolutely positively will go and look at your reviews. Which brings up the second control point. <clears throat> How do we... Uh, get great reviews to flow to these review sites and how do we get the patients who are going to leave us a bad review how do we keep them from actually posting them online okay well that that if i could interject something here that's that's key right there it, it if somebody does post a bad review I mean, wouldn't you want to know so you could take corrective action but the difference is you wouldn't necessarily want the whole world to know at the same time, you know, right. Or you can correct it. Right. And, 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 and there are, you know, there are pros and cons of posting responses to online reviews. Um, but those aren't really the control points. Those are after the fact. What I'm, what we're most interested in, or what, you know, dentistry or our clients are actually are most interested in is, is, how do I get the patients to leave me a review? How do I not make it a big deal with my staff? Because my, my staff already has enough things to do. <laughs> okay. That's the first control point. The second control point is, is how do I make it so that a patient, even if they are pissed off at something, even if they were, uh, you know, less than pleased with some aspect of today's visit, how do I make it so that they can, um, they can express their frustration or anger um, without it being seen online? And the answer really is, here, here's what you need. And, and this is all going to dovetail into something that um, is available in, in the marketplace um, and, and it's available from us, but the, the purpose of this po podcast is not to sell you something. It's more to explain it to you. If you want to buy it, that's fine. <clears throat> what you really want is you want your patients that visit you today to get a text at some point today. You don't necessarily want them to get an email. Because when you send these requests via email, the statistics show that your responses go way down. Ultimately, you want a boatload of great reviews on all of the big review sites. Specifically, most importantly, Google and Facebook. Okay? So, <clears throat> at... You, you, you don't want the person at your front desk to have to remember to ask for or beg the new, the new patient or established patient to give you a review. You don't want the doctor to have to remember that. You don't want the assistant to have to remember that. You don't want it to be a process. You don't want it to be, have to be something anyone has to remember. You want it to be automatic. In order for it to be automatic, it has to be integrated with your practice management software. Okay. If it's not integrated with your practice management software, somebody has to remember to do it. And what we found is in the offices or across the board, if it was something that had to change in the office's operational um, processes, there's a much greater chance that it didn't happen. And if we leave it up to the team um, to uh, ask, encourage, plead, beg, <laughs> give away candy, <laughs> whatever, uh, to, to generate a review, um, it, that worked, but it worked temporarily, and it kind of faded away, like many things that dental offices try to implement 
there's a lot of energy at the very beginning and then the energy wanes, okay? So the solution there at that control point is remove the staff, remove the doctor, make it automatic and have it in integrated um, with the practice management software. Now, the second key control point is um, get great reviews online, obviously, and minimize the impact of poor reviews so that um, your online reputation improves. Well, the way you do that is you, in that text, remember, it's not an email, it's a text. That's definitely preferred. Um, that is really simple and quick for the person who receives the text, your patient, to click whether they were happy, happy or not. If happy, it goes right to the Google um, or Facebook page that they are already logged into or already have the credentials for on their phone. There's nothing you have to, <laughs> that makes it simple for them. <laughs> if their Facebook credentials are on their phone or um, their you know, Gmail um, credentials are on their phone, which they will be if they have those you know, two accounts, they all they have to do is click on Google and bam, your Google review page comes up. They don't even have to log in. They don't even have to log in. It just, boom, it goes right there, right? <clears throat> so it makes it really, really, really simple for your staff and, and unbelievably simple for your patients um, to leave you a five-star review. Now, if their um, review was less than great, which again, they select first. That's key to this, okay? They have to select whether they were really happy or not. If they're really happy, it's gonna go to the review sites, they click and bam, they're right on there and they can just review your practice. If they're not, it doesn't go to a review site. It goes to a secondary, um, um, it goes to a secondary area, a webpage, uh, which allows them to tell you, well, where did we fall short? You know, please let us know. And then anything that they say there goes directly to you or um, and or someone on your team who would then follow up with that patient to make things better um, or maybe change, um, change something in your office. I know Howie and I, you know, we, we're not, we're not perfect. You know, we don't, we don't do everything perfectly in our business. We don't, we don't know if everybody in our business is doing everything, you know, to the absolute best that we can do it. And we love to hear from a customer who says, Hey man, you know, you guys used to do this and now you're doing that. Or, Hey, you know, it'd be nice if I got this two times a month instead of one time a month or whatever. We'd love to hear stuff like that's the only way we can improve. Right. So we would want that dentist to tell us that. And then, of course, if you log on to newpatientsync.com and you look at our Google reviews, you'll see that, you know, plenty of dentists have given us Google reviews. So um, the same thing happens with your, your patients. You want them to give you great reviews and you still want the feedback and the input if, you're, if your practice needs some improvement. There's nothing wrong with that. So... Um, these products exist. I think the most important part of this is it really, in order, in order for it to work the way, in order for you to get what you want, which is just dozens and dozens and dozens of great Google uh, reviews for your practice, minimum or minimal negative reviews. We can't stop all of them. Nobody can stop all of them. Almost anyone that leaves your practice can go log on to their own Gmail account right now and give you a bad review. Nobody can stop them from doing that. But for the vast majority, 99% of your patients, um, if they flow through this reputation management software platform that integrates with your practice management software, those two can, key control points, your staff, and the, and the patient, those are taken care of. And if you take care of those two, you end up getting what you want. Uh, and now, you know, beyond that, um, making sure that the preference of, uh, let me back up. 
<clears throat> there are review sites and then there are like who cares review sites, right? So we will tell you without a shadow of a doubt, the most two most important review sites that exist on the internet for dentistry and dental practices are Google and Facebook. So another thing that you want this platform to do is, is gently guide your patients toward the two most important review collection areas, which are Google and Facebook. Is it okay if they stick a review on Yelp? Sure. It's okay, right? But um, is it far more um, advantageous to you if they post it on Facebook and or Google? Absolutely. So for all of you out there who were concerned with, confused by, um, you know, if, if you were um, listening to sales pitches or what have you for systems um, that control these things, I can also get, we sell a product called um, NPI Crusader. And the product does exactly what I just said. So if you're out there in the market for a product to handle this for you, then you can take this podcast and the list of control points and how it works, and you can judge that product <clears throat> based on <clears throat> what this podcast uh, has presented. Sounds good, Mark. Yeah, it takes, um, I don't know, 20 minutes to install, maybe. Um, if you don't have a Facebook platform for your office, uh, that may have a little bit of time. But um, for the dentist who has, uh, you know, a, a website, some Google ranking, and a Facebook page for their website, this is the way you control those two main control points. Yeah, I love the automated part. Everything's automated. Nobody has to remember anything. That's great. <clears throat> yeah, if you, talk to, if you talk to the people who don't have integrated solutions, they're the ones who are saying it's up to the team. The bottom line is, is we have customers, their team is, is consistent with it, and then we have customers where our team is not consistent with it. And the reason why we just waited for an integrated solution is because I, don't, <laughs> I would rather not sell, right, the, the, the one that, re, that relies on the team. Yeah. Because you know what happens at the end of the day, the dentist is still, they're not going to blame their team. They're going to blame the platform, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. If they can't get their team to ask for reviews at checkout, <clears throat> then they're not going to blame their team. They're going to blame the platform. So uh, anyway, that's reputation management. Um, that's what it's about. That's how it's done. That's how, that's how we've reviewed the best way to do it for, for dental practices. And that's, that's why we have MPI Crusader. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, lending us your ears. And uh, we're going to see you next time. Bye, Howie. Bye-bye. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast today. You can find more podcasts on our YouTube channel, on Stitcher, and iTunes. Also on our websites, dentalwebcontent.com and newpatientsinc.com.